Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a reading for the sign of Scorpio. The Scorpio Cross Watcher. Wherever you have the planetary placement in your chart, and even if you don't, please try to claim this energy in a helpful, positive manner for yourself, or just leave this reading here for someone else. Now, let's hit this. Clear and ground for Scorpio, please. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the highest good of our collective of Scorpio. Guys, energy is fluid. I can be speaking about you or somebody in your energetic field, and it can be past, present, or future. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody out there today. Yeah. Yeah, here we go, Scorpio. Clearly and concisely, please and thank you for everyone's highest good. There's something that you're not giving up on here, Scorpio. The Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is when you're at your last stance, okay? But you're persistent and resilient, tenacious, not taking no for an answer. Okay, you also have a Nine of Pentacles here. Some kind of financial freedom, some kind of um, luxury or self-sufficiency, financial gain, solo pleasures here. Nine of Pentacles is Virgo energy. This is about a material and financial achievement. So you're not giving up until you have some kind of material and financial achievement. We have nines across the board to begin with. 999 megahertz, 999 hertz. This is shamanic healing of Archangel Michael. While we're on the subject, playing for your healing sound bath in the background, Scorpio, it's set at 432 megahertz, 432 hertz. These are alpha gamma waves, okay? It's the fastest traveling because it's light. It's a DNA repair and a digital fine-tuning. It's pure frequency. It activates 100% of your brain waves. It's high alertness, cognition, memory, and focus. You use amethyst, rose quartz, and clear quartz or crystals. What's at the foundation? So you're not giving up until you're financially independent here. I see that. Show me. Something about a keg of beer. Some kind of a keg of beer. Here we go. Now, you have a five of cups. In reverse, at the foundation of this situation, you were finding peace in a situation. You were moving on, okay? You were accepting life on life's terms and finding contentment with it. And with this acceptance, clarity, and contentment, you were able to move forward and find some kind of happiness. Show me what's crowning Scorpio, please and thank you. Somebody might be studying something here, okay? I'm trying to learn something. You got five of wands. Mm, okay, well, listen. That's Leo energy for conflict, struggle, and disputes. This is competition, tension, arguments, aggression, fighting, people starting to drama, fives across the board, healing past trauma. It's also a connection to your fifth dimension. There's a lot of bickering going on here. Okay, so what's going on here? Now we have temperance in reverse. All of this is making you lose some kind of balance, okay? Temperance in reverse Sagittarius energy. Uh, you know, this is, uh, the 14th can be of significance. That reduces to five. This is some kind of overindulgence or, you know, when temperance is in reverse, it's a dis disruptive energy. Maybe you're feeling out of control in some way. Sagittarius energy, like I said, and also this soulmate energy. Okay, but you're trying to make a decision here. You're looking at this like you're calling judgment on something. You're deciding whether or not to resurrect something. You're being very decisive here. You could be going through some kind of an awakening, okay? It's judgment. It's, it's a choice. Self-realization, maybe some reflection here. But deciding to resurrect the situation, and maybe this is throwing you off balance. Let me see. Show me what's in the uh, actual environment, please, and thank you. Somebody here could be 59 years old or 55. Yeah. Show me. Please and thank you. What's in the environment? It's Scorpio. What's in the environment? It's Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, you have the tower. Some kind of surprise or shock. Something that you didn't see coming. Something that's going to shake shit up and shake it down. Some kind of unwanted change, perhaps. Whatever was shocked the shit out of you, okay? It's the tower. It is Scorpio energy. The 16th could be of significance or 7. Maybe there was a shock in July. But also, um, yeah, let me see. Someone could be 61 here. What's the best advice? So you're going through some kind of a, a, a upheaval here, okay? And you're trying to make a decision about what to do about it. It's throwing you off balance. You did come to some kind of clarity here, but you could have drama, people starting drama around you. And this is why you're um, standing your ground here. Show me what the best advice for Scorpio is. Scorpio, the best advice for you is the higher font in reverse. All right, so look. 
Maybe somebody's being a little rebellious or challenging here. Maybe there's a new method of doing things, like a new method to solve old problems. And also, someone does not want to conform to rules and regulations. We do have Taurus energy and the fifth again. So fives are very significant, Scorpio. You may see them in, you know, consecutive order somewhere. And that would be your clarification. Somebody might have a tree house, some kind of a tree house. Here we go. Show me. Please and thank you. Somebody might have a pet ferret. What's the most likely outcome to this? It could be a new method of doing things, getting around, uh, getting around whatever drama this is. Now, with the three of cups here, some of you may have a circle of support around you in this situation. This is about friendships and celebrations, gathering social events, and maybe going out into the community and enjoying yourself. So maybe you're going to let your hair down after all this and, you know, just go relax and have some fun. I'm seeing frogs, something about frogs. This is going to bring some fairness and balance into your life. But what you don't know and you don't see is that something that you're manifesting, oh, it's going to be successful for you. You definitely completed a cycle and you have a new um, passionate beginning. Somebody's getting a match with them under their ass for something here. Justice, 11. Uh, that's November. It's also um, Libra energy. This is, you know, a win-win. This is cause and effect. Justice is karmic correctness, karmic justice, some kind of, you know... It could be a legal dispute, too. Maybe you don't know this and you don't see this. But whatever you're manifesting is going to come to fruition here. You got Gemini and Libra energy. You also have the moon. Things going on under the surface that you may not be aware of. Or some of you just may be getting some downloads and dreams or some kind of intuitive hits. The 18th could be of significance, and that reduces to 9 again. All right? So something also significant about 9s. Now, give me one row of clarification. We have Taurus and Leo. Scorpio twice. And Virgo and Sagittarius. Show me, please, and thank you. Scorpio. Scorpio, what's going on in Scorpio's world? We love you, Scorpio. Okay, you got a Ten of Swords. Some kind of painful ending. Okay, that could be the shock and surprise here. Something ended, uh, you know, maybe shockingly. It's over, good, bad, and different. There's no coming back from this. Something is rock bottom. That's the end of it. Whatever painful ending is, this is for you, it's going to be different for everybody. Okay? Maybe you didn't expect it. Show me. So in which case, let's just say like it's a painful ending. I'm just using this as an example of a marriage. The higher font in reverse would be like a divorce. Here we go. Three of swords. Okay, what did I just tell you? Somebody might have been cheating on somebody here. You got a three of swords. Whatever it is, there's some kind of pain and trauma and something's ending completely good, bad, or indifferent. And maybe even in divorce here. Something about a trestle of roses. Somebody might be bobbing for apples. I'm seeing bobbing for apples. Somebody is drinking too much here. Show me what's going on. Three of swords, some kind of trauma, emotional pain over whatever this was that ended for you, which is going to be different for everybody. And it also might have been some kind of shock and surprise, okay? Let's see. Give me one more, please, and thank you. Give me one more for Scorpio. By the way, Scorpio, let me take a time out here. And thank you so much for taking your valuable time of your day and joining us. We see you. We acknowledge you. We're so very grateful for your presence. Whether or not anybody else has told you this, we love you, okay? We are sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity in every friggin' form possible. To infinity and beyond. I'm seeing irises. Iris flowers. Maybe somebody's named Iris. Maybe somebody's some kind of iris flowers. Also something about a weeping willow. All right, here we go. Now, you have the king of wands. Leo energy, okay? Somebody's going to take the lead in the situation. Somebody here, you know, is very self-assured and confident and passionate. Somebody's a bold, decisive leader and about to take a deliberate step in a particular direction. Maybe coming in to offer you some kind of a romantic gesture, okay? Could be. Yep, 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 yep. We got the high priestess here. Somebody knows this already. You might have Pisces in your chart. Oh, it's, oh, nice. Look at this. This is going to be a wish come true. Some kind of emotional fulfillment, contentment, and success for you, Scorpio. We love it. All right, let's get you Kippers first. Kippers. Scorpio, Kippers, please and thank you. All right, here we go. You have high honor. The seventh could be of significance again, July. Seven, seven, seven. Let's attract abundance. Somebody might like some Civil War reenactment stuff or maybe the History Channel. Someone could be 52 years old. We have sevens again, 777 seven, seven again to attract abundance. Somebody's going to get some kind of message. It could be any kind of message. It could be from somebody that you have a lot of respect for, perhaps. Yeah, let's take them. Yeah, oh, somebody wants to court you. Oh, somebody wants to marry you and you got the lovers. You might get a message from somebody that wants to court you. It's going to be a soulmate, and you're going to have to maybe make a decision. It could lead to marriage. Someone could be 51, 6'3", 
four, seven, or 52 is seven again. Somebody might be coming to see you or going on a journey. Planes, trains, automobiles, overhead lighting. You know, it could be a day trip, a weekend trip. It could be a vacation. Seeing brown luggage. Show me. Something about black leather knee-high boots. Someone could be painting. I'm seeing somebody painting a brick wall white. Here we go. Now, it's time to release negativity. Scorpio energy. Okay, also... You have Pisces energy. Meditate and contemplate, Scorpio. Scorpio, by the way, could you hit the like and subscribe? And if you can't hit the like and subscribe and you can't stand me, hit the dislike. But get your energy in there. And it helps get the message out for others, right? The like, the dislike, whatever it is. Now we got Aquarius. We got the full moon twice. Show the world the real you. Full moon again in Cancer. A personal issue which reaches resolution. All right, here's your hidden truths. We're going to get you some letters and we'll let you go. Again, we love you. Thank you so much. Somebody's coming in to offer you to make some kind of romantic gesture. And if you're lucky, they might want to seduce you. I will wait for a sign from you. I lost myself for a little while. And Scorpio, please. Here we go. I regret lying to you. I wish things could be different. I would play our conversations over and over and over again, Scorpio. All right. Here we go. Release all that negativity, Scorpio. Nobody needs it, okay? A, E, hold on. I. Okay, I have the letters C, D, G, P, H, A, E, I, and two O's. Close the energy, please, and thank you. Always remember, leave the logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love and let things go. Fear is your enemy. Trust in God. Karma is real. And until next time, love, light, and laughter.